Oh boy TV. They scared, but I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Favorite perspective, respect it, so accept it. They don't like commentario, subscribe it out, me dato o bo. Que lo que? The beautiful day outside, drive by content, had to pull over, because you know the drill. When you give me the call, listen, when the old boy TV sign is in the air like the bat signal, I pull right over. What we talking about, baby? Well, we got to talk about these rumors. <laughs> Well, partially because, you know, <laughs> this team in La La Land seems to be floundering, barely surviving out there with the GOAT himself, LeBron James, and now they're talking about trade rumors. Are they trade barely rumors. surviving? The, are they barely surviving the Doug Denver? <whistles> I'll let you finish. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now we got Shout out to Heavy.com. They're using their information. See, we got over here. Get right into it. NBA GM uh, projects Lakers trade Anthony Davis to Knicks. You can get a huge haul. See, just to be clear, that is from Bleacher Report, but they really copied off of the report from Heavy.com, and we want to make sure we credit everybody. Just to make yeah. sure y'all think we clickbaiting and, and rating and overrating. See, Heavy.com reported it. Lakers proposed blockbuster trade land six picks and three players in huge hall. Again, they're clickbaiting. We're just responding. Shout out to Sean Devaney working the game the way the game is supposed to be worked, baby. He's saying exactly the Lakers could turn to the Knicks for an ideal trade if this thing doesn't work out. Now, for one thing, league execs point out trading Anthony Davis is not easy. He has a record $177 million extension that kicks in for the 2025. 2026 season for another thing while some within the lakers might be in favor for the davis trade as one west executive said they're not at the top of the food chain lakers could turn to the Knicks for ideal trade package but if the lakers were to put davis on the market what could they get certainly they like some star they like some star power in return but perhaps even more important would be a replenishing of the team's barren draft cupboard no team is better positioned than the new york knicks who have all their first round draft picks in place, one from Dallas this year, and well protected with future picks from the Pistons and the Wizards. When you look at it, if you're serious about trading Davis, at some point, you need to accomplish a few things, said to, to the, uh, the anonymous GM. You have to get somewhere he wants to be. He wants to be a Laker. So if you trade him, you have to do right by him. Send him to a good team in a good market if you, if you don't want to burn any bridges with clutch sports, Davis's representatives. Well, you heard it there, all ball. What are you thinking? Or uh, there's a lot that that listen, comes with that. If the if the if the Lakers do very, make Davis available, do they have to do him any favors? It's very rare that I like anything. You know me, the ultimate hate. I don't like nothing but the Knicks. I love this. Let me explain. For one, it just goes to show you how far the Knicks have came. From being a laughing stock to now a destination. I love this, man. Listen, Anthony Davis is still top three best two way players in the NBA. Simple and plain. I don't care all that. He ain't tough. I don't care about none of that. Ain't no tough guys in the league. So you ain't got to worry about being tough. What is it? Two tough guys in the league? Maybe. I don't know. So miss me with that. Listen, man. People don't get this. And I've been saying this to you by witness. I don't think he's happy in L.A. Players are not happy to play with LeBron James, man. That's just a fact. It's too much pressure. It's a headache. Your game gets diminished. Let's really think about it. A.D. is a number one. He went from being a number one to, like I said, he don't get the ball like that. Look what he does defensively. Like, so for me, I, I love the move. I love the move because we'll be able to get him and we may not, we, we not losing Brunson or OG. Listen, man, if Anthony Davis wants to become a legend, a legend, his name goes on forever. Come to New York and win a championship. See, it has to come a time and point in life where you have everything. You have the money. You have everything. 
Now it's let me submit my name up there with the greats. It's only one way to do it. It ain't to win another championship in L.A. because you're not going to get credit for it. You don't go get credit for it, right? LeBron, you ain't going to get no credit, and you're going to do all the dirty work. But if you come to New York, brother, you will witness love like no other. You ain't going to need no bodyguards. The whole New York City is your bodyguard. Listen, man, I, I, I love the move. I love the move. I love the move because I'm going to repeat. The Knicks haven't been in this great position in a long time. Now, I know that contract is a crazy contract. But once again, what are we willing to risk to win championships? And I think with Anthony Davis, we can win multiple championships. Like I said, you get these guys like this in their prime, and you get them for four or five years, that's two championships. Anthony Davis with the Knicks right now, we are the favorites until he's left, until he's gone. And let me ask you, what do we have to give up? Okay, we know about the picks. What's the players we would have to give up? I would I would think is immediately is Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson because they're going to want a big man in return, and he's a cheap contract. You got to make sure that the contracts line up. Julius Randle probably has the biggest contract on the team. Um, I don't – unless he's willing to, to, to take less money, He's under contract until 2027, 2028, 54 million, 58 million, 62 million. Defensive player of the year guy, candidate, all the way up there. I mean, to have him and OG Nanobi is a dream. A dream. Because that's that's two defensive player of the year guys that are just on a rotation. Just nah, that's Tom Thibodeau's dream. But I think we're good. I think Mitchell Robinson is just as injury prone. And he's he's a cheaper risk. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I love the shades, too. The aviator shades, fire. Well, let me ask you this. Right now, you're the GM of the Knicks. You get the call from the Lakers. They said, we want Randall, Mitchell Robinson. Let's just say we throw in Burks. I don't care. It's six picks for Anthony Davis. You're not doing that? Nah. It's six picks is crazy. You're not getting Mitchell Robinson for me. I'll give you Julius Randall. I'll give you two picks. I'll give you four picks in Julius Randall if you want, but... Nah, man. I want. I would rather keep Mitch and Anthony Davis and go crazy. That's what I want because with no, Mitch no, there. No, no, no. You see, hold on. Of course, I would want to keep Mitch. I'm just because remember, you initially said they're going to want a big man back. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep Hartenstein because he's going to want a lot of money. So that's why I didn't throw him in there. But I'm saying, or if you're initially they're going to want a big man back. Okay, maybe six picks is a lot, but I'm just being honest. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. What I. I'm doing that in the heartbeat. They got to throw LeBron in there or something. I'm not giving you no picks. No, no. Look, listen, if they throw LeBron in a trade, the, 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 the trade is void. I don't want it. No, <laughs> no. I wouldn't There's... trade LeBron James to Josh Hart right now. No, get him out of here. No. Right. And, and, and again, hopefully they don't poison the thing. That's the other thing. The clutch sports and, and, and this guy, Rich Paul, I don't like any of that stuff, bro. You guys got to get with the program. You got to prove to us all that stuff is gone. You're done, that your whole your whole era is over. The clutch era, you're done. You have no more leverage. I don't want to hear about you want draft picks. You're trying to hold us hostage for anything that any other leverage that we want to give up. Not happening. It's not happening. You're not getting more draft picks than you deserve. We're already giving you Julius Randle. Julius Randle already proved he could take you to the playoffs. He can hold down a team like that. That's what you're getting. If it's Mitchell Robinson, I'm not giving them draft picks. That's my thing. Well, they well, that they have to leverage that themselves. Well, let me uh let me let me let me let me go left real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another route. Are are, are the are these uh rumors coming out because let's be realistic. This may be LeBron James last year with the Lakers, right? Because it's not guaranteed his son is going to LA. So if this is LeBron James last year with the Lakers, you think Anthony Davis wanna be left with that? So now is let let me find a, a another big market. To where, because no matter what, Anthony Davis is used to winning now. He's used to being in a spotlight, the limelight. He's used to being, you know, in, in, in that in crowd. Right now, the Lakers without LeBron James, I'm going to be honest, it, it's no cachet. So I, 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 think, I think it's something there as well. Because now that LeBron, now all of a sudden LeBron James' son is declared for the NBA, even though they say the portal was left open and all that stuff. 
Now, all of a sudden, you're getting these rumors. Because trust me, Anthony Davis, people got to be going, yo, bruh, your mouth for I was getting a phone call to hang that up. Yeah, so, so you know, for me, like I said, LeBron James, I, I think this is LeBron James last year in L.A. I really do. I think wherever his son, I think teams know they're going to take a chance on Bronny because they could get LeBron James. And right now, I don't think Anthony Davis is playing for championships. Right now, you know, with LeBron James in L.A., you know, the attention you get. Remember, that can be addictive as well. Them guys is rock stars out there. So just imagine LeBron going from the Lakers. Anthony Davis ain't a rock star no more. The Lakers is not talked about in a great light no more. So I think, you know, these rumors coming out is perfect timing. It, and it's setting up for when the Lakers don't make a, 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 a big push into the playoffs. You already see, he, you know, he acting like he got back spasms. So when they do lose, it's going to be he was injured. It's going to be LeBron James is 39. Listen, it's all set up already. So listen, man, I, I think, um, you know, for our Knicks, we accumulate all these assets, all these players, all these draft picks. What move are you waiting for if it's not the Anthony Davis move? What move are you waiting for to, you know, get rid of all of that stuff so we can start really making a push for a championship? Yeah, because, I mean, it's enticing. Don't get me wrong. It's one of those It's one of those moves you make. Like, it feels like you're the Yankees. When the Yankees were winning, and they would just add people to get back into, into the mix and really maintain their championship pedigree. Because, I mean, he's still 24 points, 12 rebounds a game. That's a lot more than Julius Randle. And, again, and hold come on, on now. And, and here being the East, he's not in the West, which they and say is the tougher conference. And who's out east, right? But who's out east? Big Mike. He, he's avoiding Joker. He's avoiding Sabonis. We, we get he, we get smoked he's by. Only, he's only he's only going to be dealing with Embiid and Giannis. But it, I get it. And then I think I believe now this is different. Having Darvin Ham, has he had a coach like Thibodeau before? That's another thing. Frank Vogel was, he's you know, but he's never had a coach like Thibodeau that was defensive minded. Principal, I know he had uh uh Alvin Gentry, he had Monty Williams, but there was no Thibodeau has is a championship pedigree, he's been around the block, right. he has us to the second seed. So it is enticing, man. It is enticing but, to have Anthony Davis here with the second I, seed in New York Knicks. And I go out on a limb, I go, I'll take it a step further. I guarantee this. Like, like I'm still a Charles Barkley. Guarantee. Because they don't watch the game, so I can steal his saying. If Anthony Davis come to the Knicks, he'd definitely be an MVP candidate, and he's really defensive player of the year. I'm not like, sure about that. Man, listen, I love Wimby. I love Wimby. But so Wimby Davis, who's better defensively? Right now? Right now you got to go AD. Show some respect. Let's show some respect. We can't. It, it, it broke up. I couldn't hear nothing you said. Let, let's, let, we got to show some respect. We got to show go with, go with uh, AD because experience counts. He knows where to be in in the in the major moments. Wemby has not been tested defensively at all times. Anthony Davis has. He has that ring. So yeah, I'm, I'm with you with that. But defensive player of the year, I, I'm. It's it's a how you say it? it's a loophole. What you're saying? It, they should be. He should be up there for for, for DPOY. When right. you're there with OG, they might go, yo, it's two of you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, but, they, but listen, listen, just a, just now, because because listen, just imagine Anthony Davis with our Knicks. What are you gonna do the, on the defensive end? And then now, just imagine him offensively averaging 24, 25, probably 13, 14 rebounds, two, three blocks, and he first, second, third seed. Yo, that that's a whole different ball game than every year you playing in the play in. And then you being distracted with all the LeBron hoopla. Remember, that's a circus. Is he the gold? Is he not the gold? He's 39. Is he going to win this year? Papa, his son. Like, bro, nobody wants to play with that. That's all a distraction. Bro. And and to double double down on that, the Knicks are the total opposite. Remember, they don't even they don't even have the guy talk to the media. Exactly. They'll say, yo, you ain't got to talk to the media, bro. <laughs> you stay right back and, here because our fans are crazy. And he's going to be around guys that, listen, man, you see the culture now. You see the culture. And you're gonna be playing for a great head coach. Listen, man, I think I think it's a great move. I think it's the right move. I love that just as much as Mikel Bridges. I know it's gonna cost a lot, but
But hey, man, what great player isn't going to cost a lot? Talent wise, this is be- this is this is way better than Mikhail Bridges. This is a different level. If we're talking about talent and just he replaces, so now you replace your whole front line with him. You have to go get somebody else, though. Yeah, but but we, I mean, we can get somebody. I mean, I don't get somebody else is not going to be difficult. Uh, I don't think so. Listen, I, remember, all the, right. Is he an offensive rebounder like that? If he like, there's things, there's things about this, about the the core to this team that I'm saying you're, you're sacrificing. That's why to me, you stay put and you add. We don't need anybody, and everything you just said is the reason why we got even more leverage. We're not a yo that Lakers team. There's no the Knicks are no longer a toxic organization. Our yeah, toxic ass owner is out of the picture, and Jalen Brunson leading the way with Leon Rose is showing you. Hold on. We've been this, in this game for a minute. We ain't got to talk to the media. We know how to handle this. You are stuck in la-la land where you think you got to talk to the media and think you got to say something slick because you're next to that guy. No disrespect to him. But it is what it is. We don't have that toxicity over here. So our, we have the leverage as far as everything goes. The, the number one guy on Jalen Brunson, the face of the organization, and beyond everything else, we're going to protect you as a player because we know it's New York and we know how our media does. We are nuts. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. You know, I understand we're going to be giving up a lot as far as like just, you know, culture and things like that, offensive rebounding and, you know, the depth, the size. But my thing is, listen, man, when, when you're able to get a great player and you're used to not being able to be in that position, you have to take advantage. This is the purpose of accumulating all these draft picks, uh, accumulating all these players. Like we have pieces. So eventually you're going to have to get rid of them. You're going to have to use them. Of course, we being patient. And us being patient this year definitely paid off. We didn't jump out the window for Donovan Mitchell. We didn't jump out the window for Paul George, whether those were rumors or not. So, listen, the front office, great job. But I'm saying eventually we're going to have to make a move that's going to make sense. In my opinion, Anthony Davis in the blue and orange, we might listen, bro, that's a parade. That's a parade right now. All we got to be thinking about is parade. And I understand what we'll be losing, but that's the business. That's the part of the game. If we could get that guy and we ain't got to give up much, like you said, I doubt if they do it just for Julius Randle. But if we got to give up Randle or, or it's some pick, like, listen, man, something to think about. That's all I'm saying. Something to think about. Something to and, think about. And if, and, we, and like we try to keep it true to the core. If we're thinking about it, you know, that ain't just a swipe across your phone. They're going to be sitting down and thinking about it. Favorite perspective, respect it. So accept it. They don't like commentario y suscribe. Oh, boy. Dame dato. Listen, that was a Knicks fan. You heard her, right? She said, y'all the two seed. Let's go. They scared, but we not. All ball TV. All ball TV. They scared, but I'm not.